This is a whole sensor based current sensor. This is a zero flux gate current sensor. Which one do you use in which situation? A whole sensor based current sensor has a big advantage of being very wide band. So this current sensor for example has a 120 MHz bandwidth. But the maximum current you can measure with it is actually only 30 amps. This current sensor on the other side is zero flux gate based. It has a bandwidth of 4 MHz and can measure up to 500 amps of current. Whole sensor current sensors typically have a BNC output, making them perfect to be used with recorders and oscilloscopes. Zero flux gate current sensors on the other side very often come with a proprietary connector. In this case, one to be used with power analyzers from Hioki. Whole sensors are not the best option when it comes to power measurement. Power measurements can take a longer time and every whole sensor in the world has a DC drift. And that might have an impact on the accuracy of the DC measurement. So whenever you're looking at power measurement, which can take a longer time, it's always better to use zero flux gate sensors. For more information, contact Hioki, check out our website or find more details in the description of the video.